Hello guys, so today we're going to make a object detection program in under 5 minutes using Python and YOLO v10 on Mac OS. Okay, no script, no anything. All links to websites and code will be in the description below. Let's get into it. First up, we're going to install Homebrew. This will be used to install Python. So the way we do this is copy that code. Go to terminal, copy paste, enter your password for sudo access. Done. Press enter. Let that load and download. Then we're going to get an IDE. This is a program we can code in and execute the code in. Visual Studio Code, it's free, it works on everything. Just download Visual Studio Code, get the package, install it. Now that brew has finished installing, we're gonna go brew install Python. And while Python installs, we're gonna open up Visual Studio Code. Okay, there we go. We're gonna open up a folder, go to the desktop, create a new folder, a uh, new folder. We're gonna go test, okay. Open that one up. Then we're gonna go new file, main.py. And while we're waiting for Python to install, we're just going to quickly import CV2. So these are modules uh, we need in order to do our code. Uh, import Ultralytics from, sorry, import YOLO. So from Ultralytics, import YOLO. Now these things will be squiggly ones as they're not installed yet, but that's okay. So terminal, new terminal. What we're going to do now is we need a virtual environment to run these things. And the way we do that is Python. Dash m in um, dash m vem obj vem. There we go. Creates it in the top left over there. Now we're going to go. Yes, yeah, set it to default. Now we're going to activate it. And the way we do this is source obj vem slash bin slash activate. Now we can see down here we're in the uh, virtual environment, and so we can pip install these things up here. So we're going to go pip three install opencv dash python. That will take a few seconds to download. Uh, and then we're going to go pip3 install CV zone. And then the biggest one here is Ultralytics, which pip3 install Ultralytics, which will take some time to download while we wait. We're going to create a model to identify objects. The way we do this is object model equals YOLO. We're going to go YOLO v10. Okay, let's just put this into quotation marks v10n. Dot pt and then we're going to want to get webcam video and the way we do this is cap equals cv2 dot video capture zero is default for macbook and now we want to create a loop to get frames of live vid and we're going to do while true frame captured uh, frame equals cap uh, so, uh, yeah cap dot read so we're reading the live video footage and we're returning True or false if we get a frame and the frame itself. So if we don't get a frame, so if not frame captured, we're going to break out of this loop so it doesn't stay running in the background. And if we do get a frame, what we're going to do is now scan that frame for objects. So we go objects equals object model frame. And we're going to go for object in objects. We're going to go parameters equals object dot boxes. Then for box in parameters, we're going to go x1, y1, x2, y2. So we're getting the top left and the bottom right uh, coordinates of the object equals uh, box dot x, y, x, y, zero. Now we're gonna make this into an integer, so numpy uh, dot as type int. And now we're gonna get a rectangle around us. So we're gonna do cv2 dot rectangle. We want it on the frame we're capturing. We want to add the top left, starting at the top left, ending at the bottom right. Uh, we want the color to be red, so 50, 50, 255, and we want the thickness to be three. Do that, control S. Now if we run the Python file, it will take a second to load everything up. It has to install the YOLO v10 model we've used up there. Oh wait, hold on, we're gonna actually control C this. This won't work, but we need to actually show the frame. So we're gonna get the thing, and then we're gonna do cv2.imshow Name the window frame. So it's gonna open a new window called frame. We're gonna display the frame and cv2 dot wait key. Wait a second before showing the next frame. And so now if we run the Python file, it's gonna install everything. It's gonna show the frame in a separate window. And it's gonna wait one second before it refreshes around. Um, so now we just wait for it to load. It's just the loading game now. Um, so as you can see down here, downloading YOLO v10, done. Up there in the top left, only a one-time download opens up there we go we're detecting the human now thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed now if you want a more long detailed uh video of the process of making this
please let me know in the comments below. Peace out. Bye.